Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you a fantastic 4 out swing hammer basketball play that you can run against a man-to-man -man defense but also a zone defense as well. On this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills so if you like that stuff hit that like button and subscribe. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so first I'm going to show you this offense against a man-to-man -man defense, and then I'm going to switch into a zone defense for you to check it out. First, what we're going to have is player one doing a dribble handoff with player three. At this point, the defense is going to be going into help defense, on the, at least this side. And then what we're going to have is player three using that screen and passing the ball over to player two, and then player two is going to pass over to player four. At this time, we're going to be having player 5 setting a screen up for player 4, and player 4 blue is going to be driving towards the rim. At the same time, we're going to be having player 1 set a screen on player 3, and player 3 blue is going to use that screen and go down into that low corner. At this time, we're going to be having player 4 drive towards the basket. Of course, if he is open to take that 3, or sorry, that layup, definitely take that layup. However, if player 4 red fought through or cheated, or if player 5 switched off and player 4 doesn't have an open lane towards the basket or an open mid-range shot, he can pass the ball out to player 3 for an open 3-point shot. Player 3 also has an option to be cutting baseline at the same time where this would end up with a nice easy layup. Okay, so now against a 2-3 zone, we're going to have player 1 blue in single coverage up top, and what we're going to be having is player 1 still doing that dribble handoff with player 3. At this time, that's going to be moving player 4 and 2, or for player 4 and 2 right over. Player 3 is going to be dribbling up top, which is going to draw player 2 red towards him so he can pass over to player 2. And now player 2 is going to pass over to player 4. That's going to be drawing up player 4 red. And one of two things could be happening up top with the defense. Now we could be having player 2 and 4 double team player 4 as a possibility. If that's the case, we can, we're can we still going to have that screen set for player uh, 4 to use that screen and drive. But we're also going to be having the opportunity to possibly pass back to player 2 for an open 3 point shot. So keep that in mind as well. Especially if that double team comes over. So we're going to set this screen. And now we're going to be also having player 1. He is going to be setting a screen over on player 3. That's going to be bringing player 3 red down closer towards the key. Especially when player 3, or sorry, player 4 starts driving towards the rim. That's going to be bringing player 5 over and player 3 is going to be using that screen. Now, player 4 is going to have a couple of different options here, especially against a zone defense. So against a zone defense, we have now isolated player 3 red to defend two players if player 1 blue rolls towards the basket. And this is what we need to do against a 2-3 zone as well as a 3-2 zone as well. So player 1 is going to be rolling towards the basket. Now we've isolated player 3. Player 4 has that option to take that mid-range shot if he's open. He could attack player 5 if he's a stronger player. Or he can pass the player 1 for a layup or a mid-range or some kind of a shot inside the key. Or he can go and pass out do a hammer pass out to player 3 for that 3 point shot. Basically what a hammer pass is if you don't already know is when you've got a pin screen up top, player 3 cuts down, player 4 is driving towards the rim and he can hammer pass out along the baseline out to player 3. Now another play that you can run as well with the 4 out that has a hammer pass and a swing motion as well is having player 1 he is going to be using player 2 as a screen and player 4 as a screen. Player 1 is going to be using both of those players as a screen. And now, of course, he could take that shot. We're now going to be having player 5 set up that third screen. So now we have a triple screen happening. And we're going to be having player 3 sneak down towards the baseline. This is one way of running the, def or running the offense 
But how I personally find is if player one is driving towards the basket, sure that does isolate player three, but he's not going to be playing help defense because he's going to be focusing more on his man. So if he does play help defense, of course, you can do a hammer pass out. What I personally like better, and I've seen a few teams run it this way as well, is have player three set a screen for player two, wherever player two's man is, so maybe set a screen down there. And now we're going to be having player two, blue, use that screen player one drive. And now player one may have an open shot. He may have an open drive, but he may also have an open ability to get player two the ball and get that three point shot. Now we're also going to be having player three blue pop out after that screen because once player one passes the ball out, they're going to be rushing to try and stop that shot. The extra pass is going to get you that easy open three point shot. Let's run this really quickly against a 3-2 zone so that we can see what's happening against a 3-2 zone. It's going to be the same against a 2-3 zone as well. So we're going to be having player 2 set that screen on player 1 and player 4 setting that screen on player 3. Player 1 is going to use that screen and we're going to be having player 5 set that screen on player 3 as well. The reason why we want to do this is because now we've basically allowed it to be a wide open shot for player one and we could be having player four trying to pop out to stop that shot from happening. Player five can then roll towards the basket. This can be an easy layup. Or if we go and have player one attack player four, player five is still going to be rolling towards the middle of the key. That can still be an open shot for player five. But we're going to be having player 3 set a screen on player 2. Player 5 is going to be most likely coming in to cover the key. Player 2 blue is going to be using player 3 as a screen. And now player 1 can pass the ball out to player 3, or sorry, player 2 blue for that open 3 point shot. Again, this works against the 2 3 zone as well. If you'd like, actually, you know what? Let's do it against the 2 3 zone really quickly. Okay, so against the 2-3 zone, we're going to be having that screen, those that double screen here, and we're going to be having player 4 pop up most likely, and player 5 is going to use or set that screen on player 4. Player 1 is going to drive towards the basket, that's going to draw player 5. Red, 5 blue is going to go into the middle of the key, that could be an easy shot. If not, we're having that screen from player 2, player 3 is dropping down, player 1 can do a hammer pass out for an open 3-point or mid-range shot. Now those two basketball plays can help you destroy pretty much any defense that you're going to be coming up against at the high school level or younger. Of course, these are more advanced basketball plays than what you would probably run with elementary school teams, so keep that in mind. But these work really well at the high school level. I hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.